Welcome back to Live from the Camper. My name's Tony, and today we're going to show you how to make something super delicious. Carne asada. So what's carne asada, you ask? Well, Michelle? It's a steak marinated in some deliciousness. It's a steak marinated in some deliciousness. But to get a little bit more technical, this is what we're going to use. First, you're going to start off with two pounds of either skirt steak, flank steak, London broil. I'm going with London broil. It's called something different everywhere. So go either go get flank steak, London broil, or skirt steak. Two pounds. Next, you want four tablespoons of garlic. Minced garlic, fresh garlic if you want to, but I'm going with minced garlic. Two tablespoons of white vinegar, one fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a cup of orange juice, one fourth of a cup of vegetable oil, you can use olive oil if you want, but you're going to grill this steak at a very high temperature. So it's better to use something that has a higher flash point. So go with avocado oil, coconut oil, vegetable oil. Again, you can use olive oil, but it's going to get smoky. And we're cooking this on the Ninja Foodie Grill, so we don't want to smoke up this place. Next, get a nice bunch of fresh cilantro. And we're going to chop it up till you have about one-fourth of a cup to a half a cup of fresh cilantro. Next, we're going to dice up a jalapeno. If you don't want it super hot, go ahead and cut it in half and scrape out all those seeds. Now, I don't like it super hot, but I love the flavor of fresh jalapeno, so I cut up half the jalapeno. No seeds, of course. Next, you want four tablespoons of fresh lime juice. Yes, you can use the lime juice that's in the store, but for once, I'm going to juice a lime. Now you want four tablespoons of fresh lime juice. Go ahead and leave the pulp in there. Hey, it's flavor, baby. Now if you didn't get all that, it'll be down in the description box below. Speaking of below, you see that little red button down there? Go ahead and hit it. That way you can subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and ring the bell, bing, so you know when the new videos come out. And come on over to our Facebook group, the Ninja Foodie Instapot Universe. There, we share all of our tips, tricks, ideas, pictures, and all that good stuff. And heck, you don't even have to have a Ninja Foodie or an Instapot. Get great ideas, change it over the way you like it. Like today, we're using the Ninja Foodie grill, but you can also put this on a regular grill or in your Ninja Foodie. Well, are you ready? Good! Let's get marinating. Go ahead and get a Ziploc baggie. You can put this in a shallow dish if you like, but it works better than this, I found. Go ahead and flip it over like this at the top. That way when you go to seal it, you don't have like juice and all kinds of weird stuff in there. So you get a nice seal. All right. Let's dump in all the ingredients. There's your oil. There's your orange juice. Salt. Pepper. White vinegar. Garlic. Garlic. Fresh jalapeno. Or as we say up in the Midwest, jalapenos. No, nobody says that. I'm just being stupid. Go ahead and put in your cilantro. Get all that in there. That's some deliciousness there. Now, kind of mix it all up a little bit. Now again, make sure this is rolled over. You don't want to get all that nastiness on the outside. Go ahead and take your steak. This was frozen, that's why it's a little off color. But hey, you know it's gonna be nice, tender, and delicious. Throw it right in that bag. Now seal the bag. Make sure all the meat's covered with all that deliciousness. Now the stinky part. You gotta go let it marinate in your fridge for a minimum of two hours or overnight. Overnight, it's gonna be even more incredible. But we're gonna go ahead and throw it in there for about two hours. Oh, make sure you lay it flat in the fridge too, okay? In about an hour, flip it over. You know, get all the juices all around everything. All right, now I let this steak marinate for eight hours. I know I said two hours, but I had lots of errands to run. So I ran out and ran them all and everything. Took about eight hours. So now the steak's gonna be even better with an eight hour marinade. Let's go ahead and preheat that Ninja Foodie Grill. We're gonna do it on high. We set the grill to high, which is about 500 degrees. And we're gonna 
set the timer for about 10 minutes. When it's preheated, it'll say add food. Then we'll add the food and start cooking. Now, with your Ninja Foodi, you can still make the same. Go ahead and do broil 400 degrees, get it all nice and hot, and you can drop your steak right into the air fryer basket and cook it for about five minutes per side. That gives you a nice medium, medium rare. All right, see where it says add food? I'm gonna flip this around to make this easier for me to cook on, and I'm gonna add the food. All right, here's an optional step for you. I like to take a little sugar and put it right on top of the meat. That way when you get those, uh, when you're charring it, it gets a little sweetness to that char. It tastes so good. So we're going to go ahead and take the meat out. Let's throw it on that grill. No, oh, yeah, it smells good. Let's add some of that sugar to this side. And again, totally optional. I used one tablespoon of sugar. Now we're going to close this. We're going to cook it for about four minutes, and then we're going to flip it over, add a little more sugar, and cook it four more minutes. It's been four minutes. Let's flip over the steak. That smells amazing. All right, four more minutes. Well, the timer went off. Let's get a temperature on this steak. Around about 135 there. And 140, a little overcooked. Let's pull it out. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Now we're gonna let it rest for a few minutes. While we're waiting for the meat to rest, let's go ahead and throw some of these flour tortillas on the grill. Now you want to cut this steak against the grain. It gives you a more tender chew. See the lines are all going this way? We're going to go this way. Take a little chopped onion and cilantro and BAM! Look at that! Doesn't that look amazing? Now you can eat it any way you want. You can make it into a burrito, you can eat it straight like this, or my favorite way, throw it on a taco. Hit it a little with a little bit more cilantro and onion, because that's the way I like it. And let's give this a try. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. That's better than you get in any restaurant, I'll tell you that. The meat is super tender and so flavorful. Mmm, there's a melt in your mouth. You get a little sweet, you get that citrus from the orange juice, a little twang from the lime. That is phenomenal. Mmm. Well, I got one question for you. Are you hungry? Mmm. Mmm. Let's eat.